lab-grown CBD, plant-based meat, and bringing back the perfume of an extinct flower. One CNBC Disruptor 50 company is making all that a reality with what they call made-to-order microbes. With me now is Jason Kelly. He's the CEO of Ginkgo Bioworks, number 19 on our list this year. Welcome and congrats. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, because Beyond Meat and Impossible Burger are so in the news today. A little today, bit in the news, yeah. I know they're not, they're not direct customers, correct? Nope. But you are creating what exactly for this nascent industry? Right. So, so if you take a bite out of that, that impossible Whopper at Burger King, it's going to bleed, right? And what's going on there is they put hemoglobin, which is what makes blood red, which you don't really find at high levels in plants, into the burger. So where does it come from? Well, they took brewer's yeast, like the yeast you used to make beer, and they program it, like you'd program a computer, You basically. can program yeast? You can, yeah. Wow. You can actually program any cell, right? So if you look out in nature, and you look inside any plant, animal, or insect, in the cell will be code in the form of DNA. Wow. And it's ATCG, not zeros and ones, but it's a lot like programming a computer. So basically, you're programming yeast to make heme. Wow. And or you're also. Milk protein it, or, or whatever. Or CBD, is that yeah, right? Exactly. So explain that's a partnership with Kronos? Yeah, Kronos, the Canadian cannabis company. And so the way you get CBD for CBD oil today is you extract it from a cannabis plant. So you grow this whole plant with a flower and all this, and you take out this little teeny bit of CBD oil or THC or these other cannabinoids. Right. So what we'll do is we'll read the DNA of that plant find the code for the CBD, move it into a yeast or bacteria, and then you brew it up, and you get CBD oil, so no plant. There, there's some controversy Cheaper. now about cell-based meat, the yeah. people who create actual meat, not from farms, but in a lab. Yeah. Is what you're doing similar in the sense that you're reproducing things found in nature, but you're not actually doing it in nature, if that makes any sense? Yeah, I mean, so I'm like a, a bi biological engineer, right? So one of the things you learn quickly about biology is there's enormous reuse of that DNA code across biology. So it's kind of surprising you could take like the code from a cannabis plant and put it in yeast and it works. Wow. And the reason is we all share the same stuff. So I look at it and it's sort of just moving things around nature. You have a lot of uh, companies we're familiar with around here that yeah. you partner with, ADM, Cargill. Yeah. Um, explain some of the opportunities that you see out there. Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is you could program cells to make things, right? And, and biology is, if you look at it, is a, a plant can kind of grow itself out of air, water, and sunlight. That's amazing manufacturing, right? And so if we could program it to make what we wanted, other things, microchips in the future, whatever, really? we would. Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, so what is possible with this technology? I think if you play out the tape, biological engineering, programming cells, is going to be like what you saw in computers in the last 50 years. It's getting exponentially better at places like Ginkgo, and we know that like in an apple or a banana is a level of complexity at a cellular level that exceeds what Intel has in a chip. So you will use it to make everything. So you can grow an apple for me out of yeast at some point in the future? Grow you an apple computer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even better. <laughs> um, your business has been around for 10 years yeah. now. You've done some fundraising. Is an IPO in the cards? Yeah, the IPO's in the cards, yeah, eventually. The, eventually, because are there certain milestones you want to hit? Or? We just don't make, like, like it, the way to think about it is we're a cell programming company. We already work with, you know, we have a $100 million deal with Barron Agriculture. We announced yesterday a $160 million deal with Roche for antibiotics. We work in cannabis. We work in food. Cell programming is like electronics. It's below everything. And so we don't make sense to be acquired. We make sense to stand alone.